Hello everyone and welcome to this new video where I basically replicate what I've shown you in the last video but this time instead of working with Google Sheets we're going to work with the relatively new Excel on the web and so basically we're starting the same way we're going to this repository I'll leave the link below in the description and um, definitely again uh, like in the last video do I have a read of the documentation as I you know can explain much more in detail but for now uh, we're just gonna click on this open in gitpod button here this will basically um, you know come up with a pre-configured cloud-based environment that enables us to very quickly have a working development environment to work with our cloud instances of you know Google Sheets or in this case Excel on the web and as you can see here just a few moments later we have a working environment up and running and so what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into this JSON folder and this time we're going to open the Excel version of the JavaScript script our office script module we're going to copy that we're switching over to Excel on the web and I'm just gonna say on the automate tab here um, add new script and now I'm just gonna replace whatever we have here with that script from over here and then I need to save that script and then I'm able to already run it and you can see that it does print hello Excel wings in my cell A1 and so what happened here is that in my app folder I do have the main.py where we have this hello world function and so it's basically you know traditional Excel wings code here just wrapped into a uh, web endpoint that is exposed by our web framework of choice here fast API in the example and so if I want to change this to buy Excel wings um, then I can do that and rerun the script and as you can see uh, it will um, instantly be reflected when I rerun the script from over uh, here on on the office script side now as I showed you in the other video for Google Sheets uh, we're just gonna you know run something slightly a little bit more interesting which is using the, 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 the Yahoo call here using the Y finance package and so I'm going to go here into the uh, into our function here on, on Apple on, 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 on um, Office script and I'm going to change that hello here with the other endpoint which is the Yahoo one note that unlike Google Sheets at this point at least uh, uh, Excel on the web does not allow you to have multiple uh, scripts in a single module they also do not allow you to work with multiple modules so if you wanted to have both of these calls then you would need to actually insert a new script for that now I'm also going well first of all not just yet so let's run this script again and if you've seen the video from last week then you see that it inserts basically this this part of the code which is responsible for just you know adding a new sheet with basically the template for us to query Google uh, sorry Yahoo Finance and so at this point I'm going to say uh, click on these three dotted points there and say add button that will unfortunately quite the you know insert quite an ugly button at this point in time but I don't really care much uh, except that it gives me a bit of a quicker way of accessing this functionality so I'm just gonna go with those defaults I'm gonna click the button and uh, you can see it still I mean it does take a while to actually spin but then it's 
relatively it's re working relatively well I can also make this disappear although when I click on it it'll come back so same procedure as as on on Google Sheets if I change uh, the, the beginning for example of the um, the, you know the beginning of, of, of the time series then I will get uh, you know accordingly much more data back and then maybe I can switch again my ticker here and and go back again to uh, this year uh, rerun that script and that should then give me again a smaller time series here but for the Apple stock this time alright so this is how easy it is for you to get a Python based um, Excel wings environment up and running um, using Gitpod you have in no time a full Visual Studio Code environment with autosave for you at your disposal and you can make you know use of all the, the Python features that you want you can install all the packages you need um, and you can use obviously multiple modules you can have Git integrations so basically I can go here to my Git um, to my to my git functionality and I can see what what really changed so you can see here um, if I make that disappear then you can see it a bit better so you can see that I changed hello to buy and basically I can commit and push that to github if, if you know that is the change that I want to make so all these are nice nice things that you would expect as a professional developer that unfortunately these days are completely missing from the existing office scripts or also on the Google Apps script um, environment. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more details on this functionality in future videos.